Hi everyone. Someone asked me in the comment section, I would like to see how you did the pathfinding with gravity. It took me a while to understand what they were really asking. How do you create pathfinding for physics based units? So today I will be explaining how I tackled that as well as discussing how we blended animations with ragdoll physics for our snakes and spiders. Our game is in 2D but I've used similar techniques in 3D before, such as for root motion animations and blending heat or death animations with ragdolls. Let's start with the simplest scenario. I think the original question was actually about our minions, which combine basic physics with pathfinding. I simulate their jump by applying a force whenever they need to jump. Each minion has an invisible NAFMESH agent that calculates the path towards the player. I made them visible. The blue spheres are the agents, so you can see what's happening. I let the agent move for a while, then trigger the jump in that direction. After each jump, I teleport the agent back to the minion's current position, so it can calculate the next jump. If the player is in vision, the minion ignores the agent and jumps directly towards the player, and with more intensity. It's because the player looks delicious. I'm not sponsored, but I want to mention the library I used for pathfinding, the A-Star Pathfinding Project. I use the grid graph in 2D mode with erosion, which lets me add attack for the distance to the closest wall. This way, I ensure that the snakes and the spiders are always moving near walls. It's my first time using this library, and I really enjoy it compared to Unity's built-in AI component, which I have been using for the past five years. Now, let's talk about the spiders. They have three states, walking on the ground or walls, sliding along a web, and falling when the web they are sliding on is broken by the player. During the walking, the spider overlaps the agent, with a small up and down animation. During sliding, this is represented as just an animation. Falling is simulated using a ragdoll effect governed by physics. Once the fall has stabilized, I teleport the agent back to it to restart the working animation. The cool part is that each web is also a node link that the baby spiders use to move around. For the snakes, the animation is driven by the history of the head's previous position. The head follows an agent, and I use a script to modify the agent's velocity to give it that classic snake-like movement. The regular movement is poorly animated, overlapping with the agent's path. Recently, I added a leap towards the player, as well as a ragdoll fall for when the snakes try to climb up to the ceiling but loses its grip. Similar to the spider, when the snake falls, I switch it to a ragdoll version held together by joints to keep it in one piece. When it hits the ground, I switch it back to the animated version. I prefer this full swap over scripted parameter changes because I've seen how messy those can get in other projects. The swap is much cleaner and makes it easy to keep each state responsible for its own behavior. The recovery isn't always as natural as I would like, so I compensate by giving the snake a burst of speed right after the switch. This helps hide the transition from the player's view. That's it for this devlog. I hope you found it informative. Feel free to make requests like the one that inspired this video. And have a great day.